Hello there. Good evening. Hello, Arnoldo. Nice to see you. Nice Hi, to Wendy. See you, Wendy. Nice to see you too. Hello, Zaira. Hi, everyone. How are you doing, Arnoldo? That's better, Juan Carlos. Your voice sounds more like you. <laughs> sounds more better. Thanks, thank you. Yes, that's better. You're fine. What did you do over the weekend, Arnoldo? Did you go out? This weekend is my day off. Oh. I do the Sunday and Saturday. Oh, okay, cool. Did you go out with your family or did you stay at home? I visited my my parents. You visited your parents. Okay, how nice. Well, yeah. nice to have you over here, Arnoldo. I will take the attendance. What? I will take, nice to yes. have you in, in the class. In, in this moment, I will take the attendance. So okay. we will start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Hi, Anna. Okay. Lily. Anna Lilian. Present. Okay. Brian Carmona. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Martinez. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Okay. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Then Jonathan Vigil, Jose Rodrigo, Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. Okay. Laura Carolina, Maria Concepcion. Present. Thank you. Maria Elena, Mayra Moreno, Nelson Gavarrete. Omar Francisco, Oscar Arnulfo, Zaira Marleni, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jenny, Jenny Santos. Present. Okay, thank you. So guys, I, I reported the, the issue we had with the homework assignments and they are fixed, okay? Los problemas que estaban dando las tareas ya, ya están arregladas. Aunque creo que algunos ya los dejaron así, ¿verdad? So, but sí, yes, sí, yo probé, it ¿Mm? Acabo de probar, pero igual me sale. Which one? La primera. Pero It's solo hay que poner down. el adjective, solo el adjective como comparative. Oops, sorry. Quedaría así, bigger than. Solo es de poner el adjective. Ah, okay. And nothing Perfect. else. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Arnoldo. Uh, yesterday I tried to to pick uh, the number five in the in the task one. Uh, I have a problem. You had a uh, problem with homework number the five. Added, no, homework number one. Mm -hmm. Exercise number the the adjective is good ah uh -huh. there are some adjectives that they have they are an exception to the rule for good is different it's better that is the adjective or the comparative it's an exception to the rule change change good Completely. for better mm -hmm. And it's the same with bad. The comparative form is worse or worst. It has two options, but it's different. In this week, we will have a review of comparatives. I think it's going to be Thursday, Thursday or Wednesday. And we will practice comparatives a little bit more. And I will tell you about the exception. Okay, thanks for your support. Mm -hmm. Okay, so last week you prepared some role plays, right? La semana pasada, eh, ustedes prepararon unos role plays. Vamos a tener unos ahorita al principio. And the other ones at the end of the class. Y los otros al final. So, okay, let me look at the notes. Hmm. Okay. 
Mayra and Nelson are not here yet. Laura Omar. Laura? Yes. Hi, Laura. And Omar, are you available? Omar? Yeah. Hi, Omar. Good evening. Hi, okay. can you present your role play? Pueden, no pueden pasar ahorita. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Sí. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Ready? Sí, permítame, teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher, me pasó lista. Sí. Thank you. Teacher, como que tengo problemas para subir. Omar, este, ¿puede usted hacer la presentación? Ok. Porfis. And how are you doing, Galileo? I knew you were sick. Better now? I'm, I'm better now. You're better. But now. I am, I am not. Uh, Completely, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, not but I, I am better. Ah, okay. Thank you. And how do you feel? Like 80% good or 70? And 60? 80. I ah, like 80. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're very close to the 100. <laughs> yes. And okay. because, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Are you mm -hmm. ready? Ah, it's ready. Sorry, yes, I forgot ah, pues, to check esa, that. Teacher, no <laughs> Sorry. Please remind, I have to report that issue. But yes, now you can share. Good afternoon, Omar. How was your day? Good afternoon, Laura. I was very bad this day. Really? You have been working on how how to effectively promote the restaurant new menu. Yes, I share some ideas. We could offer discount for dinner during the week. Also, we call promote. Se, se, cortó, uh -huh. se cortó la presentación. He, he, is, he is back in this moment. Omar. Omar, ah, okay. per, Omar can you hear us? Sí, tenía problemas ah, de internet. Ah, ok. Ok, Omar is, is back. Or if Omar, do you have the presentation? Can you share it again? Laura. Puedo, Omar, ok. Aquí. Eh, nos quedamos aquí, Omar. Si uh -huh. gusta, repite la parte de suya, Omar. Ok. Yes, I show some ideas. We could offer discount for dinner during the week. Also. We call from it the restaurant at the local fair and um, we mean like the new image of the restaurant with its new dishes, um, place and family atmosphere. Okay. Very good idea. I suggest that we take advantage of a social network. With this thing, a striking profile, profile of the restaurant in, in Google My Business with four of, of our new dishes and drink menu, phone and Hyundai address. Okay, all right. I will optim, optimize the web page. We will activate the option near me in Google so that customer just why restaurant new me in the Google search and gym. We call be there 
first option to choose? Our cl clients might like to receive an extra gift. We call implement regarding the loyalty of our customer. We mean want to offer several dishes for sales uh, combination pro uh, party. Okay, we will content you with the marketing of the new menu at the meeting tomorrow. Thank, thank you for sharing your ideas. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much, Laura and, and Omar. I know you had some technical difficulties, oh, yes. but you Sorry. could finish. Don't worry. I'm going to help you with the pronunciation of some words, Laura and, and Omar. I will say them first, and then you can you can say them. Might, idea, Might. idea, huh? idea, optimize, 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 optimize. optimize. Uh -huh. optimize. Okay. customers, customer, uh -huh. just the intonation. Okay. okay, thank you, Laura okay. and Omar. Okay. Now. Is Ellie here? Ellie and Saira? Saira is here. Ellie? Ready, Ellie? Teacher, lo dejé en el trabajo. Ah, okay. That's okay. Sí, we can postpone hice, it. Pero, pero es que lo, lo guardé en la memoria y, y quedó en mi trabajo. Okay. All right. No problem. We can do it tomorrow. Then Rodrigo, okay. María Concepción. Rodrigo, no. Oscar and Jenny. Can you can you continue, Oscar and Jenny? Hello, teacher. I, I, to, I have a problem. I know to work in my computer, only in my phone. You are using your phone? Yes. Uh, the presentation no, is a uh, not, pero está en la computadora. It's in the computer. Okay, let's do it tomorrow then. Jenny and Oscar. Juan okay. Carlos and, Je and Wendy, are you ready? Nosotros no la terminamos, teacher. You didn't? No. Okay, okay, teacher. that's fine. Mm, yes. Uh, o Rodrigo aún no va a entrar a la clase, yo creo que no va a entrar. Uh -huh. Okay, we can postpone it, Maria Concepción. Or send it to me. Okay, in that case, send it to me by WhatsApp and I will check it out. Okay, all right then. In that case, we will continue with the class. Hi, Elena. Nice to see you. Last week, you were very busy, right? But now it's, it's better. Yeah, I think sometimes November and December are kind of busy. So it's going to be difficult some days. Well, let's continue. Today we start unit number two. Okay, remember you don't have to take the midterm test this week. Solo recuerden que esta semana no van a tomar el midterm test. It's going to be next week. Es hasta el siguiente, next Friday. Just the normal uh, homework assignment, solo la tarea. But besides that, no, not the midterm test. Okay, so unit number two. In this unit, you are going to learn about procedures. That is the pronunciation as well, procedures. Okay, so question. Carlos, what do you think it means? The word procedures, what is it? Procedures is similar step to step for the main in the something. Uh -huh. The organized, right? The organized, no, the organized. steps to do something. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carlos. So are we all familiar with this word? Si ¿Sí estamos todos sabedores de, de qué significa procedures or not? Yes, ma'am. Laura, what about you? Procedures? 
Do you understand that word? Wendy? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. So we're going to study about that, about procedures. Okay, Laura, question number one. Are procedures in a restaurant important? Uh, yes, are teacher. They, why? Uh, when is when when a uh, clients give me give me a request no, give me a cuando un cliente cuando un cliente pide una mesa o cuando pide el menú o sea, when they ask give, for give a, a table. menu uh -huh, uh -huh, a table for the menu with, with me uh, eh, eh, pues external procedures puede decirse <laughs> Eh, when in procedures. Yeah, internal procedures sería eh, when eh, process the preparing to menu, eh, organize personal, eh, schedule eh, team work. Eh, uh -huh. <laughs> Only. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Laura, for your comment. What about you, Lily? What do you think about question number one? Are procedures in a restaurant important? What do you think about that question, Lily? ¿Qué piensas de esa pregunta? Question number one. Uh, sí. Uh, yes. Um, for important is the select the product and attention attention the client. Okay, thank you, Lily. Anna, question number one. What is your opinion? It is a K affecting and not the following the procedures. The for handling food in the restaurant. It affects those areas. That's true. Galil ah, Galileo is on a call. Arnoldo, what do you think about question number one? Are procedures important? Yes, teacher. Why do you the consider that? So, the procedure is so very important that this is the, this is a very important uh, part in the function of the of the restaurant. Without procedures, don't have order, don't have mm -hmm. clean, and many things are loose if the yes. procedures don't don't have in the in the in the restaurant laura says mm -hmm. the schedule the yes. the roles in in the kitchen or the or the time for for every for every team for example the the team number one for for breakfast the team number two the mix for for schedule one and two for the for the launch and final in the the schedule for the for the team two for the dinner is so very important every every procedure the who receive the 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 providers providers the provider who who make the the buys and who is in charge for for all people. Every procedure is very important in the function of the restaurant. Yes, I had to be organized. Thank you for your comment, Arnoldo. Question number two. It's going to be in the chat. Can you help us, Wendy? 
Uh, sorry, I'm missing one one word. Is one moment. I will send it again. Okay. Okay. Is a customer's experience in a restaurant affected by procedure? The customer experience, the satisfaction customer. of the customer. Mm. Affected by procedures? The procedures or customer service? No, mm -hmm. the customer's experience affected by procedures. La experiencia del cliente, si se ve afectada por ah, los por procedures. Los procedures. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Can you yes. explain? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, for example, the procedures uh, in in the full, uh, for example, procedures, a cake, a soup, or oh, is in order. And um, the customer, uh -huh. the customer uh, like the quality, product qual quality of product. And mm -hmm. in the procedures, for example, uh, what's the meaning crudo? Raw. Raw. Uh -huh. I will send it in the chat. The full, the full raw mm -hmm. don't like the customers is is for procedures or bad procedures. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wendy. Zaira, can you give us a comment about question number two? Mm. We want to know if the customer's experience, queremos saber si, si la experiencia que se lleva a ese cliente se ve afectada o no por los procedimientos. Yes. In full, the customer gets an idea of, of what he wants to consume. Okay, all right, Saida, thank you. Is there anybody else who has another comment? A volunteer about question number two? Yes. Omar, uh huh. Me? Okay. Yes, there are not adequate process in can affect the customer experience, but dispatch, but customer service. Uh huh. Yes. Thank you, Omar. So correct, the procedures are going to affect the experience. It could be a good experience or a bad experience. Elena, do you have a customer, I'm sorry, a restaurant, you had a, a very bad experience in? Is there a restaurant that you don't like because they deliver bad service to you? Maybe one one time in Pollo Campero, uh -huh. um, the menu um, show me a um, dish, and I yo lo pedí. I this? ordered. I ordered, and it's and done. Order, order, and. Um, the answer, order now again, uh, and we're mm -hmm. over, and again. Oh my you know. God. They didn't have the food. Three yeah. times. Three times, three, di three times, three dish in the same restaurant. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I have a hungry. <laughs> uh -huh. You were hungry and you, some people become angry sometimes. Algunos se enojan cuando ya tienen hambre. So I don't know if that also happened to you. Yes. So yes, that is bad service. Now, on the other hand, um, let's see, Galileo, do you have a restaurant that you consider a very well restaurant that they give very good customer service? Yes. Uh, I have a good experience in Papa John's, in Pollo Campero, <laughs> in La Tartaleta, in in McDonald's, I have oh, a good okay. experience. Different, I, different restaurants. Yeah, I I have been in every restaurant that I I mentioned, and I don't have any uh, bad experience. I oh. the service is very the, the people service is very kind. Uh, fast and the food is so delicious very very well so delicious uh -huh. yes i don't okay. have any bad experience in the restaurant oh, okay that's nice that you don't have any bad experiences okay and thank you thank you for your comments i read them as well Saira, Mayra, i read your message jenny so thank you ellie i read the messages even though I don't answer, but yes, I read the messages you sent. In this moment, we will continue here. Number the steps a waiter follows to take and serve the order. Vamos a enumerar los pasos que un mesero toma para servir una orden. So you have to read them. And you have to think which is number one, which is number two. Tienen que analizar las opciones y ver qué va primero según lo que ustedes sienten que es más adecuado. New vocabulary. Yo no sé si solo hay dos palabras acá nuevas or if there are more than two. Estaba pensando en, en greet y en handle. No sé si hay otras. Sí, sí. Sit mm -hmm. is when stand up, sit down. Ah. When you have a chair, uh -huh, that is to sit the customers. Great, you. you're welcome to say hello to customers. Okay, that is greet the customers. Yes, Hi, uh -huh. welcome to Pizza Hut. My name is Evelyn. I'm going to be your waitress, blah, blah, blah. That is the greet, the greeting, the customer. Handle the food. It's like to give, to give the food to customer correctly, okay? All right. I'm going to give you one moment and then we check, we check the answers. Ready or not yet? Yes. You are. And you, Nelson, Saira, ready? Ready, teacher. Ready, excellent. Okay, so step number one. What do you think, Brian? Step number one for you. What is the first thing to do? Maybe greet the customer. To greet the customer. Thank you, Brian. 
And what do you think, Oscar? Do you agree? Step, step number one, to greet the customer. Yes, I have the same answer. Okay, thank you. So that would be number one. Step number two, Maria Concepcion and Mayra. Let's see what you think about the second point. Are you there, Maria Concepcion? Or Mayra? Number two. Mm -hmm. Yo tengo seat the customer. To seat customers. Okay, Mayra, thank you. Let's see. Teacher. Yes, Ali. Teacher. Yo tengo, yo tengo number one, see the customer, y number two, with the customer, porque cuando uno llega a un restaurante se sienta y luego llega, yo soy fulano, yo le voy a recibir la orden, al menos cuando si uno va al pollo, e iba a lo móvil a la aguja, porque no sé mucho de restaurantes, pero uno llega, se sienta y luego llegan a saludarlo para pedirle la orden. In some, in some restaurants, that is the tradition, right? Or that is the process. But sometimes you have to wait for a table. When you wait for a table, you have to give your info to, to someone there. So that is why we have that one. Maria Concepcion. Number two, yo la tengo con take customer order. To take customer orders. Ah, okay, thank you. Let's try uh, Rodrigo. Number option or step number two. Number two, see mm -hmm. the customer. See customer. customer. Thank you. Yes, that's the one I have here too. Step number two, we see the customer. Step number three, Carlos. Number three, say customer order. To take the order, thank you. And Lily, number three. Take hey, consumer order. To take the order, yes. Thank you, that's the one. Okay, step number four, Ellie. Confirm the order. To confirm the order, okay. And you, Jenny, the same? It's the same teacher, the same the order. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Saira, number five. Is uh, handle the food correctly. Uh -huh. Thank you. Handle. handle. Thank you. Thank you, Saira. And Elena. Ah, Elena. Is... So it's okay, Elena. If you're eating, I can wait. Yes, that's fine. Mayra. Number five. Six or five. Handle. Uh -huh. yeah. The uh -huh. same. The mm -hmm. same, right? Okay, thank you. Laura, number six. Serve, serve the food. Serve the food. Okay, thank you. So that is the procedure when a new client or a client or customer arrives. Okay, then. In this moment, we're going to work in groups. You have to use an English dictionary. You can use um, Google, okay? You can use the internet. You have to look for the meaning of these words in groups. And later, next, you create one sentence per word. Van a trabajar en grupos y van a buscar el significado en inglés de cada palabra. Y luego van a crear una oración por palabra. So a total of five sentences. If you want to, you can divide the work. Si quieren pueden dividirlo, ¿verdad? Y luego lo juntan. Or all together. Okay. We, this is what we will be doing now. Aunque ya se saben algunas también. So it's going to be easy. But tell me the definition in English. Okay. The English definition. Do you have questions before I, I send you away to the breakup room? Questions for me? No, 
No questions. Okay. So we will be working in groups of three and a group of four. One moment. Okay, please accept the invitation. Hello, sorry to interrupt, just one minute. Ellie, are you there? Yes. Ellie, today is your turn for the private session. Can you stay with me tonight? Yes, yes, teacher. Ah, okay, I just wanted to confirm. And about the sentences, just one point. Solo, solo, solo les quería decir sobre las oraciones. Que recuerden de que depende de qué sea la palabra, si es un verbo, tienen que ponerlo como verbo, ¿verdad? Como I run, la posición correcta. Ahora, si es un noun, si puede ir como sujeto o puede ir en el complemento. Y si utilizan past tense, tienen que poner el verbo en past tense, ¿verdad? Así que pueden utilizar past tense, present tense, future tense, could, lo que quieran. But one sentence at least. Do you have any questions for me before I let you continue? For the moment, no. Me, okay. no. Do you think you will be ready? You could be ready in five minutes or more time. Creen que salen con cinco minutos? Un poquito más. Un poquito más. Okay. Okay. Para que piensen ahí bien. Okay. Las voy a dejar entonces continuar. See you later. Somos tres. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you guys doing here? Do you need help or not yet? Uh, ever, I need help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just, I just had one comment. Remember that you have to pay attention to the word. If it is a verb, you have to use it in the form of a verb. If it is a noun, it can be at the beginning or in the complement. Tengan cuidado cómo utilizan la palabra, porque si es un verbo, ¿verdad? Debería de ir como en medio, como un verbo. Pero si es un noun, si es un sustantivo, sí podría ir al principio, ¿verdad? O al final, en el complemento. Y el tiempo, si utilizan past tense, si es un verbo, hay que pasarlo a past tense. Ok, entonces solo be careful. Tengan, pónganle atención a cómo lo Cómo hacen la oración. Ajá, ok. Maybe about seven minutes. Estaba pensando en darles. Si, si veo que todavía no han terminado, pues les doy more times. Manden un, un text, please. Si ya terminaron y, y no ven ningún movimiento. Ok. okay. All Thank right. You. Yes, María Concepción. Ahí en WhatsApp. Ah, en lo de la presentation. Y lo demás, porque no tengo encendida la cámara. Ah, okay. Sorry, no he leído. I will check. I will okay. check right now, Maria. Okay, see you. See. Or should I help you? Hi. How are you doing? Hey, Do you have questions? Hi, Is there something I could help you with? The meaning you have, you need in Spanish or English? In English, English definition. 
así como yo se los doy a veces el, el, la definición, que es un procedure, organized steps we take, bla, bla, bla. But you can use a dictionary. Pueden utilizar un diccionario en, en inglés o poner la palabra okay. y definition y ahí les queda. Entonces sería mm -hmm. hold, feel, touch. Sorry, what are you talking about, Arnoldo? Handle. Ah, you're talking about the meaning of handle. Yes, hold, feel, touch, deal. Ah, okay. Okay, just one comment, Arnoldo. When you create the sentences, make sure that you use the, the word in the right way. Cuando creen las oraciones, asegúrense de utilizar la palabra en el momento, en el, de la manera correcta. Por ejemplo, si es un verbo, ¿verdad? Lo van a utilizar como verbo. Pero si fuera un sustantivo, podría ir al principio o al final de la oración. Y si está en pasado y es un verbo, hay que colocarlo en pasado. ¿Qué? ¿Okay? Entonces, Por solo ejemplo, asegúrense. Ajá. We have an example. Can you yes. handle all the plates? Ajá. Or should I help you? Ajá. Correct. Se está usando como un verb. So, yes, it could be past tense, present tense, future tense, can, could, might. Pueden utilizar cualquier tiempo o un modal. Solo asegúrense de utilizar la palabra como debería. Si es como verbo or now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, do you have questions for me before I let you continue? Mm, no. No. <laughs> No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank See you, you later. Goodbye. Sorry, wrong room. Me equivoqué de the room. You can continue. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. So. I've been on a teach. Hello. Teacher. Yes. Mire, fíjese que tengo una consulta. Uh -huh. Ese, yo estaba haciendo una oración de la primera palabra, handle, uh -huh. esa. Uh -huh. Y es, pero como ahí dice que significa manipular, va, o, uh -huh. o resolver. Entonces yo lo tomé, no sé si está bien esta, sí, porque dice, the restaurant, no, sí, cabal, quiero ver. The, the manager, the, the manager, the restaurant, handle the chief well. Handle the? Chief, well, Chief como que manejó nada. bien el... ¿Manejó bien el qué? Sorry. Turno. Ah, ok. All right. Um, no estaría correcta, Mayra, por el significado de handle. Handle es cuando uno da algo, but with your hands. To give with your hands. Hand the phone. Eso es hand, como un verbo, ah. como de dar, pero using your hands. Por eso dice ahí, to manipulate with the hands. Y ahí estamos hablando de un turno. Ajá, it has to be an object. Tiene que ser un objeto el que se esté manipulando. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. And just one comment, Carlos. When you start a definition or a sentence with a verb, you need to use to. Cuando empezamos una oración, o aquí una definición, si empieza con un verbo, Lleva el to al principio, to feel or manipulate, to establish, eh, to inform, cuando va con un, un verb. Ahí se pone así. Ajá. Any other questions for me? Before I let you continue. En el de greeting, utilicen el verbo greet como verbo que es el, el greet. Greeting es como, porque es un verbo y está utilizando ing ahí, pero su forma es, es greet, la forma base, the base form. Zaira o Carlos, do you have questions for me? No, vamos eh, a intentar, eh, teacher. Una, una oración de, de greeting. greeting. ¿De cuál? De greeting. greeting. Como, si ¿sí se recuerda, Zaira, que es greet. Eh, saludo. Ajá. Entonces, si es, si es un verbo, ¿verdad? 
¿Qué significa eso? Yo podría decir, he greets customers in the morning. For example. Y si digo, I receive a welcome greeting at the restaurant. Ajá, uh -huh, it will be okay too. Ahí también tengo que usar el... el no, el no, eso está bien, está bien. Greeting. Pero porque ahí lo está tomando usted como el, el nombre de saludo. Ajá, ajá. Y el que yo le estoy dando es saludar, el verbo. Ya. Pero como, como saludo, si sí es greeting. Ok. Es welcome greeting como un saludo de bienvenida. Se uh -huh. tomaría. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Ok. Ok, Carlos. Do you have questions for me? Before um, I... <laughs> no, no. no, no. Ok, no, solo recuerden no, no, no. de aplicar bien, ajá, aplicar bien la palabra. Si es un verbo, ¿verdad? Lo ponen como verbo y con su, con su S o pasado. Y si es un noun, un sustantivo, podría ir at the end or at the beginning. Podría ir al principio o al final. Ok, si terminan antes que yo les envíe la invite para volver, pueden enviar un, un message y ya están, eh, han terminado. Teacher, ok, ajá. No, no, ¿Nos podría confirmar en esta de confirm? Confirm. Sí, sí, estaría bien. Lo que está subrayado sería la oración. I confirm your order. Sutant, no errors. Yes, it is correct. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You're thank welcome. You, okay, see you in a moment. And remember, if you finish, send me a message. Si terminan, me avisan. Bye. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? No, dividimos, teacher. Ah, okay. That's, that's a good idea. Do you need no. any help from me? Um, si sí, puede ver el chat, las, las oraciones que tenemos ahorita. Chat, el grupo de WhatsApp. No, el chat aquí. Este, ajá. Ahí lo tienen. 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 Zoom teacher. Ajá, aquí no hay nada. Ahorita. No. No sé por qué no lo. No, no se ven. And if you read it? Uh, en WhatsApp. O se lo leo, ajá. We can handle that volume of order to our clients. Mm -hmm. And other greeting, greeting is, ba is basic in customer service. Greeting is basic, yes. Only, eso sí. Yes, they are correct. So okay. you finish. Ya terminó entonces su parte, Len. Eso, only the Okay. 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 So, how much time do you need? ¿En cuánto tiempo creen que ya están ready ustedes? Five minutes. Five, five minutes. Five, yes. Ah, okay, okay, very well. Si terminan antes y no ven ningún movimiento de notification para regresar, Send a message by WhatsApp. Ahí avísenme que ya Don y yo ya, ya coordino. Ok. Ok. Um, Brian, questions before I go? No sé si hay alguna duda, Brian. Brian, ¿está ahí? Ok, then. See you in a moment. Sí, fíjese que es que yo siempre me pongo suéter porque me dan bien. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Wendy? Talpa. Ah, um, finish. Ya estamos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ya, finish. ya todos terminaron. 
Yes. Ah, ok, ok, excelente. Vamos a revisar entonces. Los voy a enviar para el, para el main room. Because you're the only one. Solo ustedes han terminado. Entonces oh. vamos a, a ver con ustedes. Ok, ahí les voy a mandar la invite para que vayan al main room. Y ahí okay. los escucho. Oh, me falta. Okay, so let's begin with the definitions. Okay. Who has the definitions? Ah, uh, definitions. Handle, resolver. But in English, todos están en, en Spanish, Wendy. Todas las tienen sí. en, en español. Ah. Sí, solo los tradujimos. Ah, ok. Porque era el, el significado, pero en inglés. Ah, pues no entendimos. <risa> y ah, pues no hemos terminado. Y las oraciones. Y las oraciones sí las, oraciones sí las terminamos. Ok, vamos sí. con las oraciones, in that case. Handle. Who has the sentence con handle? It's very important handle a problem in the workplace. Ok, think. One stop. Bueno, antes que continúe, solo agregue el it's very important to handle. Ah, it's very important to handle. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. La otra. Lilian, ¿quiere la? Sí. Is necessary to confirm the order in the product. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Correct. Well, la, la tercera is you must demand your invoice payment. You must demand your um, invoice payment. Yes, correct. Okay. La otra es, it's very important the client's greeting. It's very important the client's greeting. Okay, correct. Y la cinco es, you should always notify your customer of the price of your product or, or service. Correct, Lily. Thank you. Just the pronunciation. It will be notify. Notify. Uh -huh. notify. notify. But yes, the sentences were correct. Thank you. Just vamos a quedar ahí pendientes, <laughs> por decirlo así, with the no definition. Pus ah, sorry, Wendy. No pusimos la definición en inglés. No, no nos acordamos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You have it in Spanish, right? Ah, okay. All right. Your classmates. We will listen to your classmates and you can copy the answer. Ahí sus compañeros van a decir las definitions y ya ustedes pueden, pueden agregarlas. They, are, okay. they will be back in, in a few seconds. Do you have questions for me? Si tienen alguna duda. No. No. Nelson, ¿qué tal va el trabajo? No le toca más pesado en, en el final de año. Eh, ¿Cómo no? Yes. Bastante. Sí. Sí, me yes. imagino. Casi en todos por los, los trabajos. Eh, por, los, por todo lo más, por los cierres de facturación que se dan también en diciembre, eh, por todos los, ya vienen los días negros que decimos, <ríe> Free the Black. Ah, yes, este, este jueves es, creo, no. Yo creo que sí, yeah. ya comienza. Este sí, viernes. Los de Black, Black Friday. El viernes creo que comienza. Van Black a hacer Friday, compras. Sí. Eh, nosotros vendemos lo que es informática, vendemos eh, producto informático, licencias, equipos, eh, lactos, eh, todo lo que es relacionado mm -hmm. a la informática. Oh, okay. De eso distribuimos. Cool. Toner, tintas, eh, cableado, cámara web. El sistema ah, de instalación, software, eh, de todo lo que es relacionado a lo, 
a la informática. Ah, ok. So, yes, I imagine you have a lot of things to do. Sí, me imagino que hay más que hacer. Ok, Muy Nelson. <laughs> Sorry uh -huh. to, to interrupt the conversation. So, welcome back, everyone. We will check your answers, some of your answers, and the other ones will be checked later, later on. Okay. okay, so let's begin. Group number one, Galileo, Maria Concepcion, and Omar. Okay, handle. What is the definition that you have about handle? It's uh, major a situation or problem. Again, please. Anas, Anas. Okay, Concepcion, please. Maybe a situation or problem. Okay, thank you. A situation or problem. To handle, yes, that is one of the meanings. Handle tiene diferentes significados, that's one of them. Solo que en este context, in this context, it's gonna be different. El significado para el que estamos acá trabajando will be different. Yeah. I will put it here in a moment. Arnoldo, Juan Carlos, Laura, or Oscar, handle. What is the definition you have? Thank you. Um, well, I'm going to use the one Carlos, Mayra, and Zaira have to manipulate something with your hands. Can you use the chat y todos los teams, el que tiene la palabra handle, puede enviar, please, su sentence, cada grupo, la oración que crearon con handle, please. In this moment, I will give you a moment. De cada grupo, one, right? Because it was one per, per group. And this Galileo will be the use we will be giving in, in the restaurant industry to use your hands to give something. Okay, Galileo, it's correct. Y veo que esa es basada en la definición que me daban uh -huh, about dealing with people. So it, it will be correct. Then, Ellie, we need more people to handle the food. Okay, then, Arnoldo, can you handle all the plates? Yes, it's very important to handle the problem in the workplace. Correct, Wendy, is the same as, as Galileo. Hay dos significados, ¿verdad? Es lo que le menciona Galileo. Handle, el que está acá, es el que vamos a estar utilizando más en lo de restaurantes. Okay, to give something with your hands. De que damos algo, pero utilizando las manos. Handle también puede ser como, como lidiar con algo. Estar lidiando con algo. Entonces, también podría funcionar. Handle difficult customers. No sé si fue Galileo, if you send that one. También, ¿verdad? Pasa, we have to handle difficult customers. Okay, then Wendy, correct, Elena, yes, and creo que enviaron una al WhatsApp. Ah, ah, Carlos, okay. Food must be handled, yes, correct. Okay, number two, thank you, number two. I will take the attendance, just one moment. Let me take the attendance and then we continue. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Presentation. Okay, thank you. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay, Present. thank you. Present. Okay, Carlos. Elizabeth Martinez. José Arnoldo. Present teacher, estaba okay. apagado el micrófono. It's okay. José Galileo. Present, ma'am. Jonathan Vigil. José Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. 
Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. Sí, sí. Eh, María Elena. Mayra Moreno. I'm here. Uh -huh. Ok. Nelson. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here. Okay. Omar Hernández. Present. Oscar Villatoro. Present. Zaira okay. Marlene. Present. Wendy Maribel. And Jenny. Present. Jenny Present. Okay. Thank you. Can and remember. No, 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 internet. Se me ah, okay. Okay. Don't worry. I have Pero you here. <laughs> yes. I have you here. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Remember that your session is depending on on the list. Recuerden que la sesión va dependiendo de, de su orden de lista. Ahorita este día nos quedamos con Eli y mañana según veo acá, Arnoldo. Arnoldo, you're next. ¿Verdad? Vamos ahí. Luego creo que va Galileo. Entonces vamos ahorita ahí en la lista. If you can, ¿verdad? Si no puede, entonces posponemos y va el que le tocaría después. Ok. So, let's continue in the book. Vamos con confirm, right? Definition of confirm. Anna, do you have it? Or who has that one in your group, Anna? Confirm. And please send me the one about confirm. Y me envían ahí en el chat la oración que tienen con confirm, please. Chat, okay. Uh, no, la definition you can tell. Pero las oraciones ahí sí todas para ver las, la de todos los grupos. Um, to study with their roots, uh, good rising, body or genius, genius or corroborating the verity. Okay. Can you send it? Let me let me see it in the chat too, please. Then, okay, Rodrigo, do you have that one to confirm? Uh, concept. Uh -huh, the concept. Okay. Confirm. Confirm the truth of a type of a thing. Okay. To assure to give a person or thing great firmness. 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 Uh, firmness. Okay. Firmness. Thank you. Con confirm, I think we're fine, right? Todos estamos okay. bien with the meaning of confirm. Thank you, Rodrigo and Ana. In the sentences. Okay. Confirm. Okay, Arnoldo, the one about confirm is correct. And then, Laura, correct. Papa John's, we confirm, yes. Galileo, that was correct. The new menu is confirm, está bien, Ana. Solo que vamos a utilizar ahí, confirm with ED. It's confirmed. And then, it's necessary to confirm. Wendy, when you use it's necessary, it's important. Cuando utilice un adjective como esos, Wendy, hay que poner it siempre. Y luego vamos a usar to, necessary, y luego con el to y el verbo. Confirm, in this case. Okay. It's, it's necessary. Uh -huh. Ay, me equivoqué también, necessary. Ajá, hay que poner siempre. It is or it's. Podría utilizar la, la forma oh, corta. Okay. Pero okay. tiene que ir un elite at the beginning. Ok, payment. Sí. Let's continue with payment. Ok, do you have that, that word? No más. Payment, the concept or definition. And guys, sent me the sentence with the word payment. The one that you have about payment. Teacher, the definition confirm? It's in the chat. Oh, no, it's... Uh, oh, okay. Anna, can you send it by public, please? No sé si podría enviar el mensaje público, Anna, because I'm the only one who can see it. Anna, send it, okay, but it's, it's private. She will change it. Okay. Omar, are you there? Or Juan Carlos? 
payment? Do you have the, the definition? Method, payment uh -huh. method. Mm -hmm. It's a procedure to uh, pay to something. The method to pay something. Something. In short words. Okay. Thank you, Juan Carlos. And the sentences. Okay, Galileo, may I take the payment? Correct. And then we need more people. The customer payment. Customer. Ah, okay, Ana. Ahí está utilizando payment, pero como del verbo pay, de pagar. Payment, aquí es, es el noun. I received the payment yesterday. I received the payment yesterday. Okay, guys, can you send me the other two, please? Me pueden enviar las últimas dos, the, the, the last two. We will continue and I will check them. Yo las reviso in, in one moment. We will have a little dictation. Les voy a dictar unas sentences. But if, after you sent me the sentences, luego que me las envíen, the sentences. Nos falta la de greeting and notify, right? Please send them and I'll give you feedback when you start working on your, on your next assignment. Okay, thank you. Jenny, is it in past tense? Este, uh, está en pasado la que envió Jenny. The customer notified. Or in present yes. tense. In past in tense. Past. Ah, ok. Um, es sería notified. Así. In past tense. With, con yes, ese little too. change. Ok, thank you for sending the sentences. I will check them in, in one moment. Okay. Yo las reviso y les doy feedback. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to dictate five things restaurants can do to improve the service. Les voy a dictar cinco cosas que un restaurant puede hacer para mejorar su servicio. Okay? Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Number one, mm -hmm. okay, hire people with a heart, a heart for hospitality. Hire people with a heart for hospitality. Hire people with a heart for hospitality. Higher teacher. Higher, H-I-R-E. H-I, H as in hotel, I as in iris, R as in Robert, E as in elephant, higher. Later, we will confirm. Luego vamos a confirmar. A ver qué tal las, las tenemos, ¿ok? Ok, that's number one. Hire people with a heart, like a heart, for hospitality. Number two, next. Write out a training plan. Write out a training plan. Plan and expectations for every position at your restaurant. Write out a training plan and expectations for every position at your restaurant. 
for every position at your restaurant. Have you finished? Number three. Give great service to your staff. Give great service to your staff. Give great service to your staff. So your staff So your staff can give. Teacher, the book is staff. Ajá. Te dijo give bread service to your staff y luego so, so staff. Your, your staff can give great service to your guests. So your staff can give great service to your guests. Guesses or guess? I will spell it out. G U E S T S. Yes. Teacher, ¿cree que no puede repetir? Yo me quedé en lo último. Sure. Ok. Uh, give great service to your en staff. Todas. <laughs> try, ok, try. Give great service to your staff. So your staff can give. Great service. To your guests. I see. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Next, number three. Reward. Reward. Score. I'm going. I'm, I'm sorry, Maria Concepcion. Is number four. Ah. Uh, yes, number four. Mm -hmm. Reward, R-E-W-A-R-D, reward, your team for great performance. Reward your team for great performance. Repeat, teacher, please. Reward your team. Reward your team for great performance. For great performance. Period. Period. No que lo escriban, sino period, the symbol. El símbolo, ¿verdad? El punto, period. Create an employee rewards program. Create an employee rewards program. Create an employee rewards Program. Rewards program. Finally, number five. Empower. I'm going to spell it. Spell it out. Empower. E. M P O W E 
are empowered. Your team, your team to go, to go. The extra empower your team to go. The extra mile. I'm going to spell mile. Voy a deletear mile. M I L E. Again, M I L E. For guests. For guests. That's it. You finished? Now we're going to confirm that we have the same. Vamos a, a, a ver si todos tenemos lo mismo. This is number one. If you have that, si tienen eso, great job. That's the sentence. Number one, hire people with a heart for hospitality. If that is what you have, congratulations. You heard correctly. Number two. Number two in the chat, write out a training plan and expectations for every position at your restaurant. That was number two. And next, One moment. Give great service to your staff. So your staff can give great service to your guests. You can check to see if you have the same. The next one, number four, reward your team for great performance. Create an employee rewards plan. How, how is it going? ¿Qué tal van? Casi todas igual. Okay, good. Three no, teacher. Number three, no. Two oh, Okay, okay. okay. Solo, la mitad. <laughs> Solo la mitad de cada una. <laughs> okay. We will get better, don't worry. And this is the last one. Empower your team to go to the extra mile for guests. That's the last one. Okay, so let's, let's go on. Just allow me one moment. Okay, so there you have some things that they have to do. They have to do. And, okay, give me one moment. We will talk a little bit about them. Hire people with a heart for hospitality. Okay, so Carlos, why do you think that that is important to improve the service? ¿Por qué el punto uno sería importante para mejorar el servicio, el servicio del restaurante? Hire people with a heart for hospitality. No, I... No entiendo, perdón, la pregunta. La pregunta, ¿por qué sería ese el paso número uno? No paso, sino que eh, la opción o la oración uno, sentence number one, important to improve the restaurant. Como estamos hablando de cosas que pueden hacer los restaurantes para mejorar su servicio de, de atención. Entonces dice, hire people with a heart for hospitality. Why? Uh, 
Ah, the microphone, Carlos. Mm. No entiendo, perdón, la pregunta, teacher. La... Me agarró en curva ahorita. <laughs> ok. Um, Juan Carlos, can you help us? Because the hospitality is uh -huh. the, the best way to service to customer. Uh -huh. People in the restaurant need, needs to be like that, right? Las personas en el restaurante tienen que ser hospitalarias, hospitable. Do you have a comment, Galileo? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of people are mm -hmm. necessary in the restaurant mm -hmm. because essential. We, we got because we need to make the customer feel important every mm -hmm. minute in the restaurant. Yes. There are some some way, waiters that they they are very rude and mean to customers when they ask are, for something. There are people and, like that. Uh huh. So if you want to improve the service, custom, I'm sorry, uh, employees need to be hospitable. Okay. Point number two. Write out a training plan and expectations. Can you help us with that one, Rodrigo? Point number two, what do you understand? ¿Qué entiende del punto número dos, Rodrigo? What do you understand? Sí, creo, crear un plan de capacitación. Ajá, uh -huh. why? Why is that important? Uh, the best customer service. But how? Los, ¿Cómo es? Uh -huh. Definir, para mí sería definir los protocolos de cada empleado para una mejor atención al, al cliente. Pero ¿por qué cree que eso ayuda? A, ah, a, cada, a quien. Sí, cada quien tendría su rol de trabajo y desempeñarlo de una mejor, de una mejor uh -huh. manera. Correcto. Definiendo los puestos de trabajo. Uh -huh. How would you say that in English, Rodrigo? No, teacher. <laughs> okay, you can say each person, cada persona, each person, each person. knows, knows no. their role. Their role. In the company. Mm -hmm. Okay. To perform, perform, I'm sorry, perform better, para desempeñarse mejor, to perform better. But thank you, Rodrigo, thank you for trying. Okay, now give a great service to your staff so you so your staff can give great service to your guests. Jenny, what do you understand? Point number three. Um, give great service. It's important because uh, the client is, is the face to the clients and um, is, is uh, the great service is important for the client to in procedures, in policies, them all is a, uh, uh, is for a good work. Correct. Thank you, Jenny. Mayra, um, Galileo, do you want to comment? And then we listen to, okay, Mayra, think about an explanation for point number three in the meantime. Aha, uh -huh, Galileo, what did you want to say? I, I, uh, that expression to me is mean, preach, with your example. Uh -huh. uh, predicar con el ejemplo. Mm -hmm. With your example. If we treat better to our employees, they treat, they, they gonna treat better to the, every single customer. Mm -hmm. Correct, Galileo. Thank you for your comment. 
Mayra, and then we listen to Omar. What is your opinion? Hi, teacher. Yo no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. <laughs> what do you want to say? Try, try, Or if Mayra, you want try. to, I can give you more time. ¿O quiere un poquito más de tiempo in the meantime? Por favor, porque okay. estaba corrigiendo todavía las oraciones. Okay, okay. Omar, and then we listen to Arnoldo. Tell us, Omar. Sorry, miss. Tengo problemas con el inter. Ah, okay. Okay. Arnoldo, what is your opinion? Sometimes somebody say, take care with your employee and your employee take care of your business or your, your restaurant in this, in this case. When the, when the owner take care with his employers, his employers are very happy. Mm -hmm. um, an employee happy, always service with a smile and uh -huh. take care of the business of the owner, no? Correct, yes. But if they don't like the, the, the boss, they are going to like destroy the company. They are not going to care about his or her money. Yes. And Mayra, ready Mayra? En eso está el teacher, ya casi. Ok, okay ya casi. let's continue in the meantime. Reward, point number four. Reward your team for great performance. Reward your team. Are you familiar with the word reward? Do you know that word? Recompensa. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Can you give us one comment about that, Anna? Why is that important? to improve the service of the company, to reward your team. And yes, then we listen said. to Laura. Uh -huh. It's very important because the why the are trading with giving the good service. Uh -huh. An exceptional service if you reward them. Exactly. If you tell them, exactly. I will give you $100 if you do that, they are going to do it for the money, or it could be other type of rewards. Laura, why is that point important? Uh, el punto cuatro. <laughs> yes, point uh, number four. It's important uh, for motivate uh, employee uh realize in the excellent customer service uh -huh. uh, incre increase the uh, sell the sell yes. uh, re reward employee for the result of obtenido, obtenido. obtain or obtain. got obtain. Uh -huh. okay correct uh -huh. so you only. give motivation <laughs> motivation and then you improve the sales uh -huh, or you increase the sales. Thank you, Laura. Okay, point number five. Do you have a comment about that one, Saira? Empower your team to go to the extra mile. Do you understand that one? Can you explain it, Saira? I no idea, teacher. You don't understand that one. Okay, let's wait a moment for your classmates. Vamos okay. a ver qué nos dicen sus compañeros. If not, I can, I can help you. Elena, do you have a comment? Point number five. Yes. Uh -huh. I, I, I think um, in my work, for example, mm -hmm. trust is very used because if you like it that you that do you do is better and so no va a ser como una carga sino que la va a hacer porque le gusta ah uh, it's not gonna be a burden it's not gonna be a burden but something that you enjoy Thank you, Elena. Oscar, can you give us another comment? 
Point number five. At this point, I thought when the, the employees, you can say you make uh, the, the job is the best. Cuando el empleado sabe qué hacer, sale mejor el trabajo. Uh -huh. that's, that's correct. Thank you. I think, but it's different. Number five, it's a little bit different. Who has an extra comment about point number five? Galileo. Teacher, uh -huh. yes. We can do a more effort to make the tar target uh, more effort than we must to do in one day, extra mile, more effort that we can do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Galileo. Uh, to go to the extra mile, it's like a, an idiomatic phrase. Eso de la extra mile es como una frase, un, un dicho en inglés. Extra mile es como, como dar más de lo que uno da. O sea, no solo lo estándar, sino más. Ana, do you have a comment? No, o sea, siempre dicen dar la mía extra. Ajá. O también lo utilizan en Spanish. Sí. Ah, ok. So es it's the same. Yes, yes. Ah, ok. Nosotros no lo usamos mucho. Bueno, quizás porque lo ponen en inglés todo el tiempo. So that is why. Mayra, yes, tell oh, me. I see it, teacher, ya lo hice. Okay, good. It is important for employees, signs a good boss, is a leader above all else, and helps his colleagues. Excellent. Okay, Mayra, thank you. Thank you for preparing your comments. Okay, so let's continue. In this moment, um, okay. We have in the book some, some problems, issues, issues or problems in the restaurants. Issues is the same as problems with service, problems with service in restaurants. Okay, there are five, five problems. The waiter gets you food you didn't ask for. Problem number two, the food takes too long to be served after ordering it. The waiter is not polite, it's, it's rude or mean. The dish you want to order is not available, but it appears listed in the menu. That is what Elena mentioned, right? Her problem. The dish was in the menu, but at the moment she ordered the dish, it was not available. So it's a common problem. Problem number five, the dish in the menu differs from the actual dish the waiter brings to the table. The, the dish is different to what you ask for. It's different. Okay, so for you, Brian, what is the most common problem that you've lived? Are you there, Brian? What is the most common problem you believe? ¿Cuál le ha pasado a usted más de esos five problems in the restaurants? Ni voy al restaurante. Why? Why not? Ni antes de la pandemia. Maybe the wire is not live. This is my the case, most common one. In my case, I, I think. That's the problem. Uh -huh. And how do you feel about that? ¿Cómo se siente cuando le, le hablan ahí pesado? How do you feel about that? Mm. Uh, maybe I... ¿Cómo, se, cómo es? ¿Enojado? Angry. Molesto, molesto, molesto. I get angry. Or mad. I it's get... not... Mm -hmm. I get angry mm -hmm. because 
I I don't know. I don't. O sea que yo no, quizás porque a veces yo no estoy así. Mm -hmm. Yes, everyone feels like that. My sister, my sister fights. <laughs> she argues with the with the employees when that happens. And she doesn't like, doesn't like to be treated like that. Okay, thank you, Brian. And Lily, what about you? What is the most common problem you have in restaurants? What is the most common problem, Lily? ¿Cuál de esos le ha pasado más a usted? Es que no sé bien qué quieren decir en español. Ah, okay, I can help you. The waiter gets you food you didn't ask for. El waiter, el mesero, le lleva comida que usted no había pedido. Okay. Number two, the food takes too long. La comida toma mucho tiempo en ser servida después que la ordenó. Se demora mucho. Number, Number three, two. esa Number es, two. ya no yeah. sigo. That's the one for you. Esa es la que me ha pasado, solo que no sé cómo decirse en inglés. Ah, uh, ok. Um, bueno, what do you want to say? ¿Qué quisiera decir? Uh, bueno, mi experiencia fue de que fui al pollo campestre en Sultán, pedí uh -huh. una hamburguesa y pasé dos horas esperando la hamburguesa y nunca me la dieron hasta que me molesté y le reclamé y me la dieron por allá para llevar. Ajá, <risa> uh -huh. yes, wow, two hours. I think, sí. creo que nunca he llegado a dos horas, so it's, it's a very long time. Okay, puede decir, I went to the restaurant, and you can use the name, I went to Pollo Campestre, and they never, well, you can say they serve my food after two hours. Esto sería una manera sencilla. Para no complicarse sí, teacher, mucho. Pero, pero me estuve bastante porque me decían ya se la vamos a traer. Ah, ya la... esa es la típica. That's a very common phrase. Ya casi. In one moment. Sí, Just sí. one moment. Y ahí en time continues. Ok, thank you, Lily. Carlos, what is the most common problem for you? The same teacher. The food thing too long to be server after ordering it. The same. And how long very has it been in the, the maximum? In the, in the other restaurant. Or when you go to a yes. pupuseria, right? Sometimes they never oh. give you <laughs> the pupusas. Or tortillas, in, sometimes it takes in, a long in, time. In 10 minutes it is very yes. very much <laughs> it's a it's long very common. Uh -huh. yes. correct so here you have very very common problems okay so now this is the situation you are the manager okay role plays we will be using this you are the manager and one the other person is the customer and the customer is having one of those problems and the manager is going to try to fix it. Vamos a hacer role plays utilizando esos problemas. Uno de ustedes va a ser el manager y el otro va a ser el customer o el cliente enojado, ¿verdad? Por alguna de esas razones. ¿Qué va a tratar de hacer el manager? Fix it. Lo va a tratar de arreglar y que ese customer se vaya happy, ¿verdad? Porque estamos hablando de the customer service, así que se tiene que ir happy. Okay, pero el customer es un customer, así que va a tratar de, de dar un poco de, de luch. Okay, that is what we will be doing. Depending on the time, vamos a ver qué tal vamos con el tiempo. Si no llegamos y lo cumplimos, vamos a dar el role play tomorrow. Try to make it natural. Traten de hacerlo natural, ¿verdad? Traten de no utilizar Google. Google Translate, ni eso, sino sus propias palabras, ¿ok? Para que aprendan o practiquen más. Do you have questions for me? Before I send you away, 
No sé si tienen alguna duda. Teacher, ¿cómo, cómo diálogo sería Ajá. entre dos personas? Ajá, el manager. De un problema en específico de los que están en la lista. Ajá. O si usted quiere poner otro que no está acá y que es común, puede también. Pero aquí tiene ideas, ¿verdad? Ok. Aquí hay ideas y usted, uno de ustedes va a solucionarlo. It's going to fix the, the problem. Ok. Going to, if I can change this. Ok, please open the invite. Hello, María Concepción está por ahí. ¿Qué tal se siente? Hello, Hola. ¿qué tal se siente? ¿Ya está mejorcita? Porque si Buenas no noches. se siente muy bien, quédese acá. Okay. Porque en el roleplay va a tener que pensar un ratito y estar concentrada para eso. Así Vaya, que teacher. voy a dejarla Quedo. acá y voy a cambiar a su pareja a otro grupo. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Espero que se mejore pronto porque Muchas ya muchos gracias. dolores de cabeza. Sí, ok. Me... <risa> ah, ok, perfecto. Sí, a veces son temporadas. Ok, María Concepción, la voy a dejar un, un ratito solita porque voy Vaya, a ir a, a ver qué tal van sus classmates. Ok, okay see you. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Do you need help? No sé si estaban hablando de algo de no sabían cómo iba. Tal vez sí, es... ahorita lo estábamos haciendo de forma genérica. De, ah, de decir, okay. I have declined the service or the food. Después le preguntaba ah. a Zaira por cuál de las dos opciones nos íbamos. Si por el servicio ah. o por la comida. Ah, Creo ok. Es, ahorita están. Ok. Ah. Yeah. Puede okay. ser por la comida. O por el servicio, así ocupamos también eh, la, la segunda opción que, que mencionaba, que, que es very common, the food takes too long, se tardan mucho en llevar la comida. Ok, so in that case I will let you continue, no sé si tienen alguna duda antes que me vaya, before I leave. Uh, no, teacher. No. La llamamos no, okay. ahí. Ajá, you can, you can let me know if you need me. See you. Thank you. Do you understand? That is the topic. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Yeah, we are making a topic. And the topic, the topic, I'm sorry. Ah, okay, so the right now you topic, are thinking no. about. Topic is to make a pizza. <laughs> the food, about food. Uh, but we're no, talking the, about food. <coughs> the topic is, is uh, mm -hmm. the, the customer is angry because uh, he ha, have been for 30 minutes and the waiters don't, don't give the food. Menu. Ah, no, okay. The menu. Ah, the, the menu. menu. 30 <laughs> minutes and any waiter eh, eh, se ha aproximado, como diría, se ha aproximado a él. Close? It's about Close. distance. Yeah, it's uh -huh. any waiters uh, to be close to the customer to offer the menu. Ah, okay. That is okay. the top. You can say Nelson. that uh -huh, he hasn't reached the, the customer, will be the, 
the best. Okay, so yeah. I think I will come back later in that case because you are just standing right now to, to brainstorm ideas, right? Okay, okay. so I'll teacher, you. Teacher, mm -hmm. I write that, I type in your WhatsApp. Something. Yes, yes, I will send you a message when we finish. Please, uh -huh, please Because right now think, I cannot. No, 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 please, don't worry. Don't think bad. Oh, no, no, I won't. I won't. Okay. I will text you I, after the class because right now I have to check and it's difficult for me to text and, and yes. Okay. okay All right. See you Thanks. in a moment. Bye. Okay. Luego diría yo, ah, pues él iba, a ser el, él iba a ser el gerente. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Do you need help? We start. <laughs> Está muy bien. Okay. Is I there want... something I could help you with? Or not, not in this moment? Eh, no sé si estará bien, teacher, como lo llamamos uh -huh. ahorita. Well, I can... Uh, uh -huh. I can make some changes. Can I, can you accept my request? I'm just going to change. Okay. Okay, here you can say, how? How mm. can I help you? Okay. And the DJ one to order is not available. Uh-huh. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Inconvenience. Okay. 
I want to speak with the manager. Okay, that's that's it. Uh, no sé cómo se quita el... Ah, okay, ahí está. Ahí está. Ajá, okay. just those changes. Y creo que dejé, how can I help? Ajá, yes. yes okay. Besides that, you're fine. Okay, so mind. if you're fine, I'm going to leave. Entonces, sorry, las voy a dejar que sigan. I'll see you in a bueno. moment. Bye. Okay. See you. A double a leader, uh -huh. wow. a leader, hung, hungry. Because you're because you because wider, wider. Brian ya está enojado, teacher. Because vamos a ver lo de actora Brian. Sí. Y Wendy que nada la va a poner enojada. Le hablen como No, yo tengo que ser que... relax. Ajá. <risa> <risa> Aunque Brian esté súper enojado. Very angry. Sí, sí. Solo en psicología va a pasar Wendy. <risa> <risa> oh my God. <risa> And how are you doing? Do you need help? No sé si hay algo que les pueda ayudar. Something I could help. Ah, sí, buscamos la palabra leader, como un poco, porque él quiere decir que está un poco enojado, pero... Leader. Leader. Uh, pues la pronunciación se escucha parecida, pero esta es la palabra para un poco. Little. Leader. Little. Y si es un poquito, pueden agregarle bit, pero es como un poquito menos. Little es más. Little bit. Ah, pues no. Little. Aunque no debería ser little, Brian. Debería ser muy enojado. Para darle más drama. No, porque ah. llegué bien educado. Llegué bien educado. Sí, él llegó bien educado. Sí, sí, sí. Porque como Salvador, él no Ah, okay. <risa> okay. Entonces veo que van bien. Aparte de eso, ya no tienen alguna otra duda. Quiero ver. Can I help you? Es la, pre la pregunta, ¿verdad? Can I help you? How? How can I help you? How can I help you? Ah, pues me faltaba ese. How? How can oh, I help you? La otra es What can I do for you? Okay. Okay. Me gusta más okay. okay. I would let you continue. In about two minutes, I will send you back. Pero si no han terminado, mañana terminamos. Okay. Tomorrow. We'll okay. 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 See you in one moment. Hmm. Hi, Laura. Hello, Rodrigo. Hi, teacher. How is your conversation Hola. going? Yes. Anaga. Mira, teacher, estamos sin traducción. Aquí solo inventando palabras. Ok. okay. Pero, pero nos estamos tardando porque está fregado, teacher. Ahorita tengo un problema con que él no me reservó la mesa. Yo hablé. Yo le pregunto quién le tomó la reserva de la mesa. ¿le? Pero va bien. Ajá. De conversación. Yo con la bien. manager. Llamo al manager. Llámeme al mañana. Ma Así sería como manager. llámeme al mañana. Yo con la manager. 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 Man manager. Manager. Ajá. O si no, váyase Man con supervisor. Ah, supervisor. Ah, supervisor. Mejor. Así no, no. Así no me corrige que diga manager. Manager. Supervisor. Ok. Ah, estamos ahí inventando, teacher. Yes. Está largo esto. Ay, vamos, palabra, vamos palabra por palabra, teacher. It's okay. Pero, Mañana vamos a, a terminarlo porque uh -huh. sí sé que toma sí. su tiempo y ahorita ya no. Solo, Solo tiene cuatro, like cuatro, cuatro palabras. Nos hemos tardado 15 minutos, barbarina. <risa> okay. Pero estamos aprendiendo. Yes, ese es okay. el, el objetivo. That's the objective. Okay. Okay. Rodrigo, the homework, the, the homework of Friday, I finally con memory. Ya habíamos finalizado, pero antes tarde ahora. Ajá. Ella me mandó el role play by yes, chat. Yes, Ajá. Yes, Because you yes. were not here cuando estuvimos en esa parte. Yes. Así que ya la tengo ahí, Rodrigo. Ok, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. excelente. Ok. Excelente. I will let you continue in one minute. We will return. Ok. See okay. you. Ok, teacher. Okay.
cooking and grill ready? In five minutes. Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Almost done. Oh, ya armamos un gran relajo aquí ahorita. Sí, ahorita ya estoy echando el gerente. Who is no, the ahorita. angry customer? ¿Quién va a ser el, el customer? Omar. B. Ah, Omar. Va, pues. Ahí va a actuar de angry customer. El más enojado. Ah, ok. Yo siento sí, que no se oye Omar bad. así. I call no buy in the rap. Oígalo, oígalo. He, he sounds like puede. a very pacific guy. Tiene que darle más Es la emoción, es la emoción. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, because of the time, we have to we have to come back in one minute, but tomorrow you can finish. Okay, finish okay. the last part. Okay, so okay. if you want to continue, you can stay a little bit more, and in 40 seconds, you will be returned to the main room. Okay, okay see you. Hi everyone, if you haven't uh, finished, don't worry, tomorrow I'm going to pair you, pair you up again with the same person or people you were working with and you can finish, you can finish your, your role play. In this moment, I'm going to take the attendance because it's almost time to go and then I'm going to stay with Ellie. Okay, so Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Brian Javier. Present, teacher. Elizabeth Martinez. Present, teacher. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, miss. Jose Galileo. Present, ma'am. Okay. Jonathan Vigil. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. María Elena. I'm here. Eh, Mayra, Mayra Moreno. Present, teacher. Nelson Cabarrete. I'm here. Omar Francisco. Present. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay, thank you. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy, Wendy Zabaleta. Present. And Jenny Suleima. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's hold on just like 10 more seconds and after that you will be able to go, okay? Let's just wait for the time to, to mark the, the time. Do you have any questions before we go? Nah. Okay, well, now you can see it's yeah. then, so you're free Teacher. to go. Yes, Laura. Teacher, una consulta. El, uh -huh. el diálogo que estamos haciendo, mañana lo terminaríamos en grupo siempre. Uh -huh. O sea, o yes. tenemos Just que terminarlo dar... hoy para presentarlo no. mañana. No, I'll give you extra time inside the, the class. Mañana. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, tomorrow. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Okay, teacher. everyone. Sweet dream. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Happy Bless night. You. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night, Arnoldo. Good night, See teacher. Bye, Bye Carlos. No, teacher, en el último... <laughs> really? <laughs> no lo hice. Okay, <laughs> pero aquí lo tengo. Bye, bye, bye. Sorry. Thank you. 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 Thank Aquí lo arreglo. Bye bye. Good night. See you. One moment, Eli. Okay. Okay, Eli. So now it's just you and me. Yo sé que tiene problemas con su, con su computer, I think it is, or phone. So, so Eli, how are you feeling? ¿Qué tal se sienten las clases? Do you have questions, doubts? I, for Please. me, it's difficult. It's difficult. For me, it's really difficult, teacher. Yes, I imagine it has some difficulties. This, this is my three, how do you say, tercera? Third. Third. Second, third. third. This is my, my third time in, in this level. Really? Third yes, time. But, but, but in other, in other ah, academies. Schools, 
Ah, yes. Okay. for in for uh, level. No, no. In for is a uh, first. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. In the intermediate level is the third time, but with INSA 4, English para el trabajo is the first time. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes, it requires time. See, it's, it's difficult at the beginning. It takes some time. Toma un tiempo. Este, perfeccionarlo, but it's possible. Si se puede. Mm -hmm. So tell me, ahorita que estamos acá, podemos tratar de trabajar en algo que le cueste el... Ah, teacher, mm -hmm. lo, que, lo que no he hecho en tres años, quizás. <risa> Llevo como tres años ya en lo mismo. Teacher, bastante, pero en lo, que, en lo que yo, yo me confundí bastante mm -hmm. es en, en lo del Mike, Mike, porque usted nos dijo de que era... Ah, bueno, lo que sí, ¿verdad? Que, que, en... Ajá, Ajá, que era como, bueno, ella dijo que era como una orden y usted dijo que era una orden un poquito más fuerte, pero lo que yo he estudiado no es una orden, sino es una posibilidad. A mí me lo, me lo enseñaron como, por ejemplo, usted diga, hoy no vino Beatriz. Así en inglés, no, no me lo pide en inglés porque <risa> no puedo hacer. Y yo le diga, Tal, este, podría estar durmiendo, podría estar comiendo, podría estar cocinando. Entonces, a, así, así me lo enseñaron y yo por eso ahora la tarea no, no, no encontraba cómo hacerla porque hasta le pregunté a, a mi compañera, ¿verdad? Y, uh -huh. y me dijo que sí, que ella también así lo había entendido, que era algo un poquito más fuerte que una orden pero yo no hallaba qué hacer porque para mí y como yo lo he aprendido es una posibilidad, entonces de una posibilidad yo no hallaba qué conversación hacer porque una posibilidad es una pregunta que usted haga. Mm -hmm. I understand. Y yes, Eli, might and may se utilizan para posibilidad, pero... Es que acá no estamos utilizando meramente might, sino que estamos utilizando una combinación que lleva y solo puede llevar dos opciones, que es might like o might want. O sea, este es el que vamos a utilizar para suggestions. Might like o might want, no might. Sí, o sea, mm -hmm. si yo utilizo might con otros verbos, ahí es donde va el significado de posibilidad. I might go to the beach tomorrow. Estoy combinando might, pero con go. Y entonces ahí sí es possibility. Pero la combinación que yo les di es solo con dos, con dos verbos, que es might like y might want. Cuando tiene esta combination, usted está haciendo una recommendation. Con estos dos, esta combinación de acá. Que es más polite que la utilizar good para recommendation. Mm. Pero en total los tres son para, para recommendations. Mm. Y siempre va a llevar my like to. Ajá, porque como va otro verbo a la par y la regla en inglés dice cuando hay dos verbos hay que dividirlos con to. Entonces, por ejemplo, si yo le digo que debería como de tomar medicina, por ejemplo, o de utilizar una face mask, entonces yo puedo utilizar este. Uh, ahora, usualmente estos son para cuando hay más de una opción, una opción o una posibilidad de recomendación. Vale, por ejemplo, esta es una recommendation. You could practice. English with your friends. Okay, una recommendation. Ahora yo puedo decir esto, pero con la combinación de might con like o might con want. Y ya iría así. Just give me one moment. You might like to 
Y aquí utilizo to porque están dos verbos juntos. Like mm -hmm. y practice. Pero en la primera no, porque could no es meramente un verbo, sino que se toma como modal. Y con los modales la regla dice que no llevan to. Mm -hmm. Entonces, y ya puede decir lo mismo y, y utilizar might want en vez de my like. Entonces, esta combination, Eli, es la que le significa recommendation. Si usted ya me utiliza el might con otros verbos, aparte de estos dos, ya está hablando de possibilities. Mm. Uh, aquí es así. Incluso. Voy a... Ajá. No, lo voy a anotar, le iba a decir. Ah, ok. Eh, lo que le quería mencionar es que incluso... Puedo utilizar want y like para dar una posibilidad, pero ya no va a llevar otro verbo a la par. Como que yo le diga, este, este, this ice cream is delicious, taste it. Y quiero que pruebe este sorbete que tal vez le gusta. O sea, yo, yo puedo decir you might like it. Y ahí es possibility, pero solo hay un verbo. No estoy utilizándolo con otro verbo, sino que solo uno. You might like the ice cream. Y ahí sí es posibilidad. Mm. ¿Sí? ¿Sí me, me entiende lo que? Sí. Sí, ahora sí, así no lo había visto yo entonces. No, porque sí, yo estoy de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Ese es el uso de might, pero solo might. Y el que estamos viendo es might like y might want, junto con good. Do you want to create examples now? ¿Quiere tratar ahora de hacer unos? Unas, unas recommendations or suggestions, unas sugerencias, utilizando might like or might want. You, y siempre va a ir you o puede ser I no siempre you verdad eh, no puede ser cualquier subject Eli. puede decir my manager my mom y puedo decir I might want to practice English every day yes pero se oye raro que sea una recomendación para usted mismo no sé como que sería mejor si va a otra persona Ajá, que se lo, se lo recomienda, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Another idea, Eli. Mm, you might like to cook. You might like okay. to cook chicken. Like. Mm -hmm. That sounds more like to it, yes. Another idea? Mm. Do you might like to dress? You might like to dress. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. Do uh, wear dress, eh, verdad? Wear dress. Te podría like vestir wear... con vestido. Mm -hmm. Yes. Media vez utiliza esta combination. It can sound like a, it sounds like a recommendation. Media vez utiliza esa, esa combinación de my like, my want to, con otro verb, está dando ese significado de recommendation. Si usted se los quita y ya lo cambia, Eli, entonces ya sí es una posibilidad. Y como le decía, incluso con estos dos, pero ya no va otro, otro verbo, sino que solo es. O como que si yo diga, I'm, I'm selling a knife, o no estoy vendiendo un teléfono. Y usted quizás me quiera decir, ah, quizás mi hermano lo quiera, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí sí puede decir, my brother might want the iPhone, pero solo va un verbo. Entonces, yes, possibility. 
solo un verb. Pero la combinación que yo les di es my like, to y otro verb. So that's the way it works. Así es como funciona. Ok, teacher. Segura, segura. Ok, de, de, yes. Yes. Ok, I'm happy to hear that. Ok, Eli. In that case, we will stop here. I don't know if you have any question or comment before we finish. No, not no. yet. Okay. Well, nice to have you here. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Espero que pueda venir mañana para, para el role play que comenzaron hoy. Sweet dreams. Yes. See you. Bye bye. See you. See you. <laughs>